Example two, using a diagram to model distance walked. Anna and Emmanuel start at the same intersection. Anna walks east at four miles per hour, while Emmanuel walks south at three miles per hour. They are communicating with a two-way radio that has a range of two miles. How long after they start walking will they fall out of radio contact? Well, step number one, in essence, we can partially answer this question by saying they will fall out of radio contact when they are two miles apart, which leads us to ask a new question. How long will it take them to be two miles apart? Now for step two, in this problem, our change in quantities are time and position, but ultimately we need to know how long will it take for them to be two miles apart. We can see that time will be our input variable, so we'll define our input and output variables. So the input, t, is the time in hours. The output, a of t, is the distance in miles, and e of t is the distance in miles. So that means a represents Anna, and e is going to represent Emmanuel. Now in step three, because it is not obvious how to define our in output variable, we'll start by drawing a picture such as you see in figure two. So, here is Emmanuel walking south. So he walks south three miles per hour. And then Anna is walking east four miles per hour. So here is our two segments. And if we connect that with that dotted line, that is the distance between them. Now, the initial value, they both start at the same intersection, which is here. So that means we're gonna say that t is gonna equal zero. So the distance traveled by each person should also be zero at that particular point. So therefore, the initial value for each is going to be zero. Now the rate of change, Anna is walking four miles per hour and Emmanuel is walking three miles per hour, which are both rates of change. The slope for A or Anna is four, and the slope for E is three. So using those values, we can write formulas for the distance each person has walked. So A of T, or Anna, is equal to four times T, and Emmanuel is gonna be E of T, which is equal to three T. Now for this problem, the distances from the starting point are important. To notate these, we can define a coordinate system identifying the starting point at the intersection where they both started. Thus, then we can use the variable a, which we introduced above to represent Anna's position, and define it to be the measurement from the starting point in the eastward direction. So we can say that this segment represents a, because that will be the distance for Anna's position. Likewise, we can use the variable e to represent Emmanuel's position measured from the starting point in the southward direction. Note that in defining the coordinate system, we specified both the starting point of the measurement and the direction of the measure. Now, we can then define a third variable, which is d, and that represents the measurement of the distance between Anna and Emmanuel. Showing the variables on a diagram is often very helpful. You can see that in figure three. And recall, that we need to know how long it takes for d, the distance between them, to equal two miles. And notice that for any given input t, the outputs a of t, e of t, and d of t all are gonna represent distances. So what this does is, this should give you an idea of what this looks like. Well, it's gonna represent the Pythagorean theorem because we have drawn a right angle. So now we're gonna use the Pythagorean theorem. So we're gonna take d of t, which is d, and square it, which is gonna equal the distance for Anna, a of t squared, plus the distance for e of uh, t squared, which is Emmanuel. So we have d of t squared, which is equal to four t squared, which gives us 16 t squared, plus three t squared, which gives us nine t squared. So now what we're gonna do is we're now gonna Combine like terms on the right side to get 25d squared, t squared, excuse me. So now what we want to do is we want to solve by taking the square root of both sides by using the square root property. 
So the square root of dt squared is dt. It's equal to plus or minus the square root of 25t squared, which is plus or minus 5 times the absolute value of t. Now, in this scenario, we are considering only positive values of t. So our distance d of t will always be positive. So we can simplify this answer to d of t, which is equal to just 5t. This means that the distance between Anna and Emmanuel is also a linear function. Because d is a linear function, we can now answer the question of when the distance between them will reach 2 miles. We will set the output d of t equal to 2 and solve for t. Well, d of t, from what we solved for, gave us 5t. So 5t is equal to 2. Solving for t, we divide both sides by 5. t is equal to 2 fifths, or 0 0.4. So they will fall out of radio contact in 0 0.4 hours, or 24 minutes. So 0 0.4 hours can be converted to minutes by the following. Well, we want to get 60 minutes in an hour, so 4 times 6 is 24 minutes. 10 times 6 is 60 minutes, which gives us 24 minutes. Now, should I draw diagrams when given information based on a geometric shape? The answer is yes. Sketch the figure and label the quantities and unknowns on the sketch.